The Settings panel is used to configure a force plate, set acquisition parameters, add or edit existing input parameters, and set values for the analysis of a measurement. Enter the Settings panel from the main window by clicking on the Settings button. The Settings panel window consists of five different panels, which are listed on the left side. Under the General panel, the basic functions can be set up. Under Acquisition, the settings regarding the acquisition of data from the force plate and camera can be set. Under Processing and Procedure, the settings regarding the calculation of the parameters and data processing can be set. Under Input Parameters, new input parameters can be added. Under Hardware Setup, one can edit the properties of a configured plate and camera or add a new device. Under Common Settings, you can change parameters that are used for all tests for different purposes. This option lets you export every measurement made into a JSON file to the folder you specified here. You can select between two types of units and various languages. Under Acquisition, you can select which channels you want to acquire with the force plate and set the frequency of the data acquisition from the force plate for each test module separately. Under the Acquisition panel, you can also set the video properties for each test module separately. You can enable or disable video capturing, set the display update rate, and use the external trigger to synchronize video and force data. Video and force data won't be synchronized if this option is unchecked. You can also set the width and height of the video area of interest. Under Processing and Procedure, the settings for analyzing and data processing can be set up for each test module separately. In general, parameters are divided into four groups. The first two groups deal with the test procedure the third one deals with data processing after the test is finished, and the fourth group is about signal filtering. By clicking on the Low Default Values button, default parameters for a selected test will be loaded but not saved. If you want to save the default values, you have to click on the Save button after you load the default values. Under Input Parameters, the input parameter values can be added, edited, or deleted for each module separately. Listed here are all the input parameters for the selected test module and all the values for the selected input parameter from the selected test module. An input parameter cannot be added, renamed, or deleted but values for an input parameter can be. Default values cannot be edited or deleted. A new input parameter value can be added by clicking on the Add Input Parameter button. For example, you can add a new value for the upper extremities input parameter. Write a name for a new input parameter value. You have successfully created the Arms Extended Input Parameter value for the input parameter upper extremities for the test module Squat Jump. Before you continue with the settings, you have to save this new input parameter value by clicking the Save button. A new input parameter value for the input parameter upper extremities was added only for the test module Squat Jump. The input parameter upper extremities in other modules 
does not have the new value arms extended because each test module has its own input parameters and input parameter values. The input parameter value can be renamed by clicking the Rename button and deleted by clicking the Delete button. The same logic for adding, renaming, and deleting input parameter values is used for almost all test modules and input parameters. There are only two exceptions. The first one is for the test module Shape Tracking when you want to add a new value for the input parameter Shape. Another exception is for the test module Curve Tracking if you want to add a new value for the input parameter Curve. For this input parameter value there is also an image preview shown. There is a detailed button for viewing detailed information on the selected curve. You can add a new curve by clicking on the Add button. In Curve Parameters, the Panel Curve Parameters can be selected. A preview of the curve with the selected parameters is shown. All curves are defined by a type of curve, a name, a percentage of maximal and minimal amplitude, and cycle duration. The type Ramp has additional settings for defining percentages of the line where the sum of percentages must be 100. A random curve type has additional settings for minimal and maximal frequency, which means that the frequency of the new random signal will be somewhere between minimal and maximal frequency. The random start point button can be used to create a similar curve, but only with a new starting point. The other parameters are all the same. Give a curve a name. For example, new random curve. Set the percentage of minimal amplitude to 40, maximal to 70, and cycle duration to 30 seconds. Most often, the frequency of a random curve is somewhere between 0.3 Hz and 0.6 Hz. You can also select a new random starting point. If you want to generate another random curve with the same parameters, you can do that by clicking on Create New Curve. To finish creating a new curve, click the Confirm button. Now you can see the newly created random curve in a list. At the end, you have to save changes by clicking the Save button. By clicking the Detailed button, you can see all the parameters of the newly created curve. The curve can also be deleted or renamed. To create a new value for an input parameter named Shape in the test module Shape Tracking, select Shape Tracking and Shape. A preview of the current Shape can be seen. Add a new shape by clicking the Add button. In Shape Parameters, the panel parameters of the shape can be selected and a preview of the shape with the selected parameters can be seen. Shape is defined by name, type, and size with percentages for the limits of stability. For example, create a new rectangle with a size of 40% of the limits of stability and name it Rectangle 40%. To finish creating a new shape, confirm by clicking the Confirm button. You can see the newly created shape. At the end, you have to save changes by clicking on the Save button. The shape can also be deleted or renamed.
In the hardware panel, you can set the parameters for the force plate and camera. Under Devices, a list of all configured devices is shown. You can add a new device, edit an existing device, or delete a device from the base. For more details on how to add or edit a device, see tutorial number four, Hardware Setup.